स्टेट्स ऑफ मेटर थ्री स्टेट्स ऑफ मेटर सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस फर्स्टली लेट मी टीच यू अबाउट सॉलिड स्टेट इट माइक्रोस्कोपिक लेवल दिस इज द अरेन्जमेंट ऑफ पार्टिकल्स इन अ सॉलिड स्टेट नोट इट डाउन दैट बाई पार्टिकल्स आई मीन एटम्स मॉलिक्यूल्स आर आइंस इन सॉलिड स्टेट पार्टिकल्स आर क्लोजली पैक टूगेदर द इंटर मॉलिक्यूलर फोर्सिस बिटवीन पार्टिकल्स आर वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इट इज ओनली ड्यू टू दिस इंटर मॉलिक्यूलर फोर्सिस दैट पार्टिकल्स इन द सॉलिड स्टेट आर क्लोजली पैक टूगेदर वट अबाउट द मोशन आर कैनेटिक इनर्जी ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स इन सॉलिड स्टेट वेल द पार्टिकल्स ऑफ सॉलिड हैव वेरी लो काइनेटिक इनर्जी आई मीन द ओनली वाइब्रेट अबाउट दियर मीन पोजिशन विच वी कैन नॉट डिटेक्ट विद नेक्ट आई ऑन द अदर हैंड सॉलिड्स हैव डिफिनेट शेप फॉर एग्जाम्पल द शेप ऑफ दिस ग्लास इज फिक्सड द शेप ऑफ दिस जग इज फिक्सड एंड द शेप ऑफ दिस पॉट इज फिक्सड दे नेवर चेंज दियर रिस्पेक्टिव शेप्स सो वी से दैट सॉलिड्स हैव फिक्स शेप्स Also solids have definite volume i mean this glass can hold only 0.2 liters of water this jug can hold only 1 liter of water and this pot can hold 0.5 liters of water so the volume of the glass is fixed 0.2 liter volume of the jug is fixed 1 liter and volume of the pot is fixed 0.5 liter here let me ask you Can solids fill the container or any object in which they are placed? The answer is no. Solids do not fill the container completely. For example, consider sugar or salt in this pot. It only occupies the required volume. It doesn't completely fill the object. Secondly, can we compress solids? The answer is again no. We cannot compress solids. If you think why, let me explain it. For example, consider this solid pot the particles of this pot are closely packed together there is no interspaces between them even if we exert force on it we cannot compress it further so we say that we cannot compress solids thirdly can solids change their shapes the answer is no and yes solids do not change their shapes by their own for example if you keep this glass here it will not change its shape with the passage of time but if you exert external force on it then solids change their shapes they are broken into pieces so solids do not change their shapes by their own but they can change shapes under external forces also remember that there are two main types of solids crystalline solids and amorphous solids in crystalline solids particles are packed together in three dimensional pattern or in regular pattern for example sugar diamond rock are crystalline solids while in amorphous solids particles are not packed together in three dimensional pattern or in irregular pattern for example glass plastic and gel are amorphous solids so note down all these important points about solid state of matter Now let me teach you about the liquid state of a matter. At microscopic level, this is the arrangement of particles in liquid state. In liquid state, particles are closely packed together with no regular arrangement. The intermolecular forces between particles are strong but weak than those in solids. What about the motion or kinetic energy of particles in liquid state? Well, the particles of liquid have high kinetic energy. I mean The particles of liquid slide over each other. In chemistry, we say that particles of the liquids are in random motion or irregular motion. For example, consider water in this glass. The particles of water move in all directions and constantly collide with the walls of a glass. So we say that particles of the liquid have random motion or irregular motion. On the other hand, liquids have indefinite shape. For example consider 1 liter water in this object and 1 liter water in this object and this object the shape of water is rectangular while in this object the shape of water is circular or spherical so water changes its shape in different objects while liquids have definite volume for example you buy 1 liter milk in the market and you bring it to the home Does the volume or amount of milk change? The answer is no. 
the milk is still one liter in your home. So we say that liquid have definite volume. Here, let me ask you, can liquids fill the container? The answer is no. Liquids do not fill the container completely. Because they have fixed volume, they occupy only the required volume in the object. Secondly, can we compress liquids? The answer is no. We cannot compress liquids because there is no interspaces between particles of liquid due to which they are not compressed. Thus noted down all these important points about liquid. Now let me teach you about the gaseous state of a matter. At microscopic level, this is the arrangement of particles in gases. In gaseous state, particles are separated with no regular pattern. The intermolecular forces between particles are very weak in gaseous state. What about the motion and kinetic energy of the particles in gaseous state? Well, the particles of gases possess very high kinetic energy. It is due to the high kinetic energy that they move freely in random motion or irregular motion. On the other hand, gases have indefinite shape. For example, consider gas in these balloons. Now when you exert force on it, you can easily change the shape of these balloons. So you can change the shape of the gas. Also, all gases have indefinite volume. It means that they occupy all the available space. For example, 1 kg gas can occupy all the available space in this big cylinder. If you transfer it to this smaller cylinder, it will again occupy the available space inside the cylinder. Now let me ask you, can gas fill the container? The answer is yes. They can fill completely the available space, like in this example. Secondly, can we compress gases? The answer is yes. We can compress all gases. It is because the particles of gases are far away from each other, having interspaces between them, due to which when you exert force on it, the particles come close and gases are compressed. So remember that gases fill the container and we can compress them. Thus noted down all these important points about gases. This was all about the three states of matter.